Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. In this episode, let's go and discuss about reading character inputs using the getChar function as we used this function in our previous episodes. The getChar function belongs to the standard input output header or the standard input output library. And the getChar function can read a single character from the keyboard and it can assign it to a variable. You know that typically the characters are saved in a char variable as I have defined a char variable with the name of character. So characters are typically stored as one byte integers but C allows them to be stored in variables of any integer type as well. Here in the getchar function when the character is entered by the user it is returned as an integer by the getchar function and that integer value is stored here in this grade variable. We also have the ability to read single characters using scanf function and using this person sign C conversion specification. Now related to this discussion, let's go and see this program. Here I have this program and this printf statement that is printing the character A and also the numeric value of A as an integer and as we said before, in a computer, the letter A is represented by the integer 97 and as such, as many other letters or characters that we have, they can be represented by integers as well. Let's go and run this program. You can see that the character A has the value of 97. Now this value 97 comes from the American Standard Code for Information Interchange character set which is a character set for computers and if you want to know about this character set more go and search about it on the internet and you will understand about it more. And that's it for this episode. I hope to see you in the next episodes.